What's up guys? This is Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. Today we are talking about the death curl. I'm hoping that this will be useful in particular for newer tarantula owners who are still learning basic tarantula behaviors and facts. Uh, before we start, I want to introduce you guys to Spidey, who you're probably not going to be able to see during this video, unfortunately, because she's being a secretive girl and she is currently um, hiding near her tunnel. Maybe you can see her butt. <laughs> I don't know, but she's hiding, possibly thinking about going into her tunnel and going into her little secret lair right here. So I hope that she will come to the front of her tank so that you guys can see her, but Spidey has a mind of her own and she does whatever she wants. Anyway, so um, welcome to Tarantula Tuesday. If you're into tarantulas and you want weekly content about tarantulas, please consider subscribing. We talk about tarantula facts here, tarantula behaviors, observation, weird stuff that my tarantulas are doing, weird stuff that your tarantulas are doing. So if that sounds good to you, please consider subscribing. Anyway, so today we're talking about the death curl. I get a lot of questions from newer tarantula owners about common tarantula behaviors like molting. A lot of people get concerned when they go onto their backs. A lot of people get concerned also when their tarantula is in a weird position. So knowing these things and what tarantula behaviors look like is really, really important. It not only saves you a lot of stress and worrying, but it also helps you provide the best tarantula care to your tarantulas. So I highly recommend educating yourself about that stuff. Now, as I said before, something that people commonly mistake um, with a sign that tarantula is dying is them actually going on their backs to molt, which is a completely normal behavior, and that's actually a sign that a molt is going really well. What you need to be worried about is if your tarantula starts to go into a death curl, and knowing what that is is very important, and how that differentiates itself from other similar tarantula behaviors that could be mistaken for a death curl. So a death curl is kind of what it sounds like. It is kind of when a tarantula's legs kind of curl into itself underneath. So the tarantula's legs will go completely under its body in a curling like fashion. And it'll make them look pretty small and frail. There might be other signs that something's wrong as well, such as a dehydrated or shriveled abdomen, but having the legs curl under the tarantula is a sure sign. And the reason that this happens is because Tarantulas, uh, their blood in their bodies kind of works on more of a pressurized system, which allows them to spread out their legs and allows them to move around. When they are dying or when they have passed, that pressure goes down. And so that is why the legs curl under the body is because there's not enough pressure to actually keep the tarantula um, kind of spread out like that. I think every tarantula owner has been fooled by their tarantula before. I certainly was in the beginning. Tarantulas sometimes get into some weird positions that if you are not aware, can actually look like a death curl. I've certainly freaked out a number of times in my first year as a tarantula owner, and I wanna share with you what I've learned so that you don't have to go through the same concerns. So sometimes tarantulas like to clean themselves in weird positions. Spidey sometimes loves to pull a few legs under her body and lay on them. And if you didn't know any better, it would actually look like a death curl. But when in fact, your tarantula might just be grooming themselves. Sometimes they like to contort and do weird yoga poses. A tarantula might also pull their legs into themselves when they are stressed out. If they're really scared, they might try to make themselves look smaller or protect themselves by kind of pulling their legs in and huddling. Um, this is not a death curl because usually in a death curl, the legs are underneath the tarantula when they're scared and in this kind of like fright position. The tarantula's legs are usually above them. They're kind of like hiding below the legs. So um, that is the difference there. And when they're grooming, how you might differentiate this from a death curl is that oftentimes not all of the legs are underneath the body. So if Spidey's cleaning herself, sometimes there will be like two or three legs that are spread out or near her body. They're not, um, they're not underneath her body. So in a death curl, usually all the legs will be underneath the tarantula. If you find your tarantula in a death curl, it doesn't mean absolute doom. There have been many tarantula owners who were able to notice a death curl happening or having happened, and they were able to intervene and um, 
help their tarantula before it was too late. So that's why it's important to know that this is an issue and that it's happening because sometimes you really can um, intervene. There could be multiple reasons why your tarantula is in a death curl. And a common one is dehydration. And that's actually a pretty easy thing to fix if you catch it in time. So often a tarantula can actually be nursed back to life if the tarantula owner is careful, intervenes, puts them in perhaps an ICU or gives them access to water. And sometimes you might have to actually help your tarantula drink if they can't do it for themselves. So there are there is the possibility that your tarantula can be saved if they are going into a death curl. And it's always worth trying, right? You guys spend a lot of money on your tarantulas. You might have put a lot of work and time and effort into taking care of your tarantulas. You may, you know, like me, be really emotionally attached to your tarantula. And so it's totally worth trying to see if you can help out. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that the images that I've shared helps to kind of illustrate what I'm talking about. Um, it is so important to do research before getting into this hobby. I mean, ideally we would all be coming into this hobby by doing our research beforehand, but um, I know that because the tarantula hobby is exploding, a lot of people get very excited and they're in, they're just really into it and going full steam ahead. And sometimes we're figuring things out along the way. So at the very least, knowing tarantula behaviors and uh, common body language signals and things that can happen to them is so important because it can really be the difference between life or death for your tarantula and your ability to help them if they are in trouble. Anyway, guys, I hope that that was helpful, especially for the newer tarantula owners. I, one, don't want you to be stressed out when you don't have to be. Um, your tarantula laying on their back going into a molt is not what is called a death curl. The death curl is when their legs are underneath them. Um, and I also hope that perhaps if your tarantula is going into a death curl and you were not aware of this, that maybe this will help you save your spiders and help you help prevent you from losing a tarantula in your collection. Because I know that can be very discouraging and we all want to learn from our mistakes so it doesn't happen again. I certainly hope that you don't have to experience a death curl unless your tarantula has just reached the end of their long, happy and healthy life. But we all will experience this one day with our tarantulas. And so it's important to know what you can do to help if it's not out of old age and it's not your tarantula's time. And to also know, you know, if it is their time, um, to just know that it is happening. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Take care.